Hey guys, it's Boxper. Welcome to a, another Fallout 76 guide. Today I'm going to be doing a guide on the 50 cal machine gun and it's pretty much going to be a comprehensive guide. So how to get the 50 cal machine gun, how to get the plan for it, and then the best mods, best legendary effects. And then I guess I'll do a little weapon demonstration and like perk cards that go along with it uh, towards the end. First thing I want to note is that I did already make a guide on how to get a free 3 star legendary 50 cal machine gun which is the one that I'm holding right now and this one is Beckett's final word um, or just final word but it's pretty much for the NPC uh, companion Beckett's quest line and this is pretty much what you get when you complete it. You get a 50 cal machine gun 3 star legendary with um, faster fire rate and anti-armor and it also has damage resistance while reloading. Um, I primed it myself and added some attachments, but that's pretty much the base three legendary effects that you get, which is a really good roll for like a guaranteed roll. Like no matter what, when you complete Beckett's quest line, you will get this, this like three star uh, stat roll. And it's super, super solid for, um, to start out with a 50 cal like this. And just for non-bloodied and non-junkies build, this is going to be like one of the best 50 cals that you can get. It can be a little bit more optimized by taking out the re damage resistance while reloading and pushing it a little bit further. But for faster fire rate anti-armor, that's already really good. So I'd highly recommend checking out that video. I'll go ahead and link it in the description and in a pinned comment down below. That way you can check it out if you're interested. But yeah, so that's one way to get a guaranteed 50 cal. But yeah, let me go ahead and go into the other methods. According to the wiki page, these are all the other locations that you can get yourself a variant of the weapon. So there is quite a bit of them and you can kind of go to whichever one is most convenient to you. Um, and these are going to be like non-legendary variants. So you can go ahead and find it and then do legendary crafting on it. But if you want the plan, then we can go ahead and see how to get the plan. So the plan can be dropped from a variety of creatures uh, in the Savage Divide. We got Behemoths, Deathclaws, Fog Crawlers, Grafton Monsters, Hermit Crabs, Honey Beasts, Mega Sloth, Mothmans, Scorch Beasts, Sheep Squatches, and other boss enemies. Um, you can also get it through treasure maps or containers in the Savage Divide. So it looks like you just find it most commonly in the Savage Divide. Or you can go to one of these vendors here which is always gonna be available if the player character is level 25 and above. And then for the Beckett's quest line, I believe you have to be level 20 or 25 and above as well. So this weapon is kind of like a little bit of a mid to late game weapon um, in terms of when you can actually obtain it. These are the vendors that you can go to if you're interested in picking it up with caps. And then of course you can use um, all the cap or all the uh, charisma boosting perks and buffs and whatnot to lower the price if you wanna buy the plan. Um, the easiest ones to access are probably going to be at the White Spring Resort. And then you can just go to these vendors. And this is what the Vendor Bot Brotherhood looks like. And this is what the Raider Vendor looks like. All right, next up, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the mods. And uh, with, you know, most mods and guns, you can find them throughout the world, um, like the mod already made. Or you can go ahead and learn the plan for the mod if you scrap down um, 50 cals. So if you want, uh, this was a comment left on one of my videos previously for a weapon guide. If you use super duper, which is this perk card right here. Somebody also asked about what the perk card was that I mentioned. Um, super duper. So if you craft anything, there's a 30% chance you get double the results, which applies when crafting weapons. So if you craft a bunch of 50 cals, once you learn the plan, then you can use super duper to proc and get like 250 cals for one craft and then scrap down both of them. And then when you're scrapping down, you can use Scrapper to obtain more components when you scrap weapons and armor. Um, that way you get more of the mats back. And then you can um, higher your chances of learning mod plans um, for the weapon. But let's go ahead and go over the best mods. The 50 cal machine gun is a very solid uh, heavy weapon. It's kind of like the in-between. So there's like, I guess like in heavy weapons, there's the slow firing weapons that do a lot of shot per, uh, a lot of damage per shot. And then there's the heavy, like fast firing, uh, low damage per shot. And this is like the in-between of those where it's like kind of like a, a pretty decent attack speed or a fire rate um, and still hits like pretty decently hard per um, shot. And there's no um, wind up time, like how a lot of the mini guns have like a spin up time. So I think that's why the 50 cal is like a really good solid heavy weapon choice. Not that many mod options, but the best receiver is going to be the prime receiver. Uh, you just get to squeeze out that extra damage. You are going to need Gunsmith 5, and you get the prime receiver plan by killing Scorch Beast or Scorch Beast Queen, and just hoping that the that the uh, the plan for the prime receiver for 50 cal drops. And then once you learn it, you can slap it on, 
And then the barrel, the best barrel is going to be the heavy barrel. You just get increased damage. So we get increased damage from the heavy barrel plus the prime receiver and you just get a bunch of extra damage. Um, and this is what the default 50 cal looks like, by the way. I'm using a skin for it. So those are the best mods, pretty much the only two mods that you can unlock for this gun. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about the legendary effects. Oh, I realize I can't craft legendary effects on this one. I wonder if it's because it's a special one that they won't let me re-roll it. So this one, yeah, so this one allows me to roll the, the mod. So I guess you can't re-roll Beckett's final word, which is probably a good thing because that's a really good one already. Uh, but this is one of my other 50 cals, which is a two shot extra limb damage 50 cal. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about the best legendary effects for the 50 cal. This is going to be a heavy weapon, DPS weapon. So we're looking for anything that can boost our damage and fire rate. If you're bloodied, bloodied is going to be the best prefix. If you're junkies, junkies is going to be the best prefix. If you're neither of those, then I would recommend anti-armor. And then the another good keyword is going to be fire uh, faster fire rate. So if you can get faster fire rate with any of those prefixes, it'll be really good. And then we have some other close contenders, which would be like maybe two shot. Two shot could kind of work maybe, but I feel like the other three are going to be more solid overall, but it could maybe work for you. I, I guess I, I'd test it out, but you do, do lose a bit of accuracy using a two shot 50 cal. Uh, another effect that's nice is explosive or extra damage while aiming. Um, there's also reduced weight, which is really nice. Uh, you don't use VATs at all for heavy weapons most of the time, except maybe the plasma caster, so I wouldn't do any of VATs on a 50 cal. Quad ammo capacity on a 50 cal could you know, be pretty, pretty nice as well. Faster reload isn't the worst either on it. I could see some people saying that Vampires is like not too bad either, but I do think Vampires is a little bit better on a faster firing weapon, um, but it could still work. And I think those are pretty much all of the main ones to mention. I feel like it's going to be the same keywords for <laughs> all these weapon guides just because right now they're heavy weapons and they have a lot in common. So, And honestly, generally the meta with legendary effects is pretty much the same across most weapons unless you're going to like a different weapon type. But for all the heavy weapons, those are pretty much the, the strong ones. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and craft some ammo and then I'll do a little weapon demonstration. This right now is the perk card setup that I've got. It's a straight heavy weapons build. So I'm running a uh, maxed out heavy gunner, maxed out master heavy gunner and expert heavy gunner. Um, bare arms and blocker, it does not affect the damage at all. We got glow sight. So if I'm shooting a glowing enemy, that's going to be additional damage. Uh, tenderizer gives me an extra 10%. We have nerd rage giving me extra 20% and we have stabilize giving me 45% armor pen on top of the 50% armor pen from anti-armor already. And then if I'm racking up multiple kills in a row, got adrenaline buff. We got the 15% flat damage from bloody da uh, from bloody mess. We got some stagger and cripple chance from one gun army. And then I think I do have some mutations that are giving me some extra damage as well. Um, so yeah, lots of damage stacked on this thing. We'll go ahead and see how it performs. And since I am using perk cards that give me some extra armor pen while in power armor, let me go ahead and get into power armor. Highly recommend that if you're going to be using heavy weapons and you want maximum damage to combo it with power armor so that you can use that intelligence prick card. And that one was called stabilized. Yeah. All right. So I am a, in a pretty bloodied state. This is just the anti-armor um, faster fire rate back at 50 cal using full prick cards. It is about 85 per shot, 96 per shot, but you can see the actual DPS on it. It can down a, uh, a super mutant pretty quick. 196 headshots and there's no wind up time on um like there's no like spin up time before it shoots and just like that it can clear out west tech really fast there's a level 75 super mutant just like that it's gone 319 damage there so yeah this is a really solid heavy weapon and it's a lot of fun to use because i feel like it gives you um it's really satisfying just without having to wait for spin up time and still getting out all this damage out. And it's got a big mag capacity as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. But otherwise, until next time.